18, um, 18 and a few months. Um, and yeah, I was actually um, still doing my high school, last year of high school, sitting in a little dormitory where I lived there and doing my homework. And my friend showed up and said, Hey, Jens, the wall is down. You want to go and see the other side? I'm like, Nah, you got to be kidding me. And then we switched on the TV and checked the news. And yeah, the wall was uh, borderline, were open. And then yeah, we went across to see yeah. the other part of uh, Berlin. Yeah, and what was that like for you as a young man of 18, you know, coming out of East Germany? And but you had traveled, right? You were racing and traveling at that time already, or not? Uh, not into non-socialist countries. We, I was staying, you know, in Poland, Czechoslovakia, Russia. I yeah. raced in this race, uh, this countries. So first time I saw Western European uh, country, and um, I mean, hey, you're 18 years old, and you know, 18 years long, they told you how bad it is on the other side, yeah. and the people are all mean, and you just want to like sort of like rip you off and your money. And <laughs> <laughs> I have, honestly, 18 years they told us. That iron wall, uh, yeah, iron wall, right? That's yeah, the word, right? Yeah. Uh, was there to protect us from you folks. <laughs> yeah. We were on the good side, and you guys were locked out on the evil side of the world, so to speak. So, I mean, you're 18, and you have been sort of like 18 years of brainwashing behind you, so you were a little curious to see it yourself. So we went across, and um, uh, it was it was pretty cool, and you didn't know if maybe next week they will close the border again. said, so, okay, that was just a one-week period. We opened the border, everybody can see, and now it's closed again. So, yeah, we spent as much time as we could over there to, you know, learn, yeah. learn to know about it because we didn't know what the future brings, if the countries get reunited or not, right. if you're going to close the border again, if you're going to become one country or not. That was a the wild times a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I bet, I bet. So do you like the changes? I mean, you know, I think you've embraced capitalism a little bit here, right? <laughs> um, yes, yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> That's the right answer. I, um, <laughs> no, I mean, I think I was in a lucky situation that it was just the right timing for me. I mean, I get my school and my uh, training, my, 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 my training, uh, the East German training system was pretty good. So I could learn from all that and then I could make it into my job, into my uh, become a professional bike rider. So I, I had a lot of advantages coming from East Germany and I could use it all to, uh, I don't know, to my advantage or to, to, to sort of like make my life yeah. happen like it is now. Um, so no, there's no complaints, and uh, my kids they don't even know anymore um, about the wall and anything. Um, I'm actually we are a mixed couple, my wife and me. I met her when the wall came down. She's from West Germany, West Berlin. I'm from East Berlin, so we are a mixed couple. Yeah, we're working really hard, uniting the country, so to speak, right? 